Kudibari at the Royal Academy is a prototype of our collaboration with Marina Tabassum. We have researched ways of improving our original design, which provides a site-specific shelter for flood-prone regions in Bangladesh. Kudibari is a modular system that uh, MTA developed to provide housing for the marginalized population who are displaced and moving from one location to another to um, make it possible for them to move with the structure itself. So the mobility was an important aspect of this whole project. At the moment, we are building about 100 houses all over Bangladesh in different geographically and climatically challenged locations, focusing on the marginalized population. So when Royal Academy uh, reached out to us uh, with an invitation, to participate in the summer exhibition, uh, we collaborated with AKT2 uh, for this project, where we decided not to send any material from Bangladesh, rather uh, share with them our ideas. The flat pack design leverages on lightweight bamboo columns as the primary structural elements. Those can be grown and sourced locally and are easy to transport. Prefabricated nodes allow for a quick installation and disassembly in case of need for relocation in the event of flooding. In the past months, we have been researching different ways of optimizing the construction and minimize the cost further to allow the solution to be even more sustainable and affordable by residents. This is a project that for me ticks all the boxes on what we should all be doing in these challenging times. A project that, is, that gives visibility to the amazing work that Marina is doing in Bangladesh at the front line of the climate emergency. A work that is putting architecture with capital A at the service of the people who really need it. But in addition to all of that, it's a project that has challenged ourselves as engineers to design and build a structure that can be done by anybody across the globe with the minimum need for technology using ultra-low carbon materials that are locally available. And that in itself is a great achievement. The original design uses larger diameter bamboo than what's available in the UK. So we had to come up with a new design using a smaller diameter bamboo bundled together to help enable um, this London version. We went through several iterations for the nodes using steel, aluminium, solid timber, layered plywood to come up with the appropriate materiality and geometry. This involved several prototypes using a mix of 3D printing and traditional paper and cardboard models to understand the proposed form. Ultimately resulting in nodes made from recycled aluminium that is a lightweight material readily available. It's a really exciting design and project, a great project to go and see in person at the show. It has been a tremendous journey and the final result is there to remind us that through design we can provide hope to many that they are now facing the catastrophic consequences of climate change. Mm -hmm.